Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be just a slight bit different today because I'm just going to be talking about class rings for your senior year in high school. So if you guys want more videos like this, do thumbs up, and we're going to get started. Okay, so disclaimer, I just want to go on and put out there that I'm not paid or sponsored to discuss anything as far as class rings or to try and persuade you to buy one. Um, I'm just speaking off of my experience this year because I am a senior in high school and I'm just based going off of um, my experience and my process that I went through to purchase my class ring this year. So, um, yeah, I just want to get that out of the way. So, um, um, class rings is totally an optional thing. Um, it's not something you have to do. You don't have to do it right away. When you start your senior year, you can wait till like, you know, towards the end of it or halfway through or wait till graduation. You can like wait, you know, when you're like in your 30s or something and you decide, you know, I would like to go back and get a class ring made for maybe high school or even for college you can do this. Um, obviously, I'm making this for current seniors in high school that are still debating on it or want to know more about it and also for the upcoming seniors so you know maybe next school year you're going to be senior and you're like you have some sort of interest in it um, you know if you are if you really do have a true interest in it and you're able to do it financially then getting a class ring I think is something you know by all means you should totally go for it. I'm going to like try my best to go through this as quickly as I can. Um, I'm going to be talking about my personal experience, um, like I mentioned in the disclaimer, as far as what I went through the process to get my class ring made, because I have it here. Um, I just got mine this week. I believe I got it um, Tuesday afternoon, so like right after school. I had no idea it was already ready and it was already in. My mom surprised me and took, we went right after school to go pick it up and I've been wearing it ever since. Okay, so real quick, I just want to show my class ring. Um, I'm not going to be showing my school or anything like that, um, but here it is up close. My diamond is uh, my birthstone, which is aquamarine. And then on the side, I have my name, obviously, and I have guitar and it's got like a spreadsheet of music notes wrapped around it for music because I do play guitar and I've been playing it since I was about nine and then my other side has my graduation year which is obviously 2014 and then I have the symbol on here for honors because I have been in honors level classes all throughout um, high school pretty much so yeah now my most important thing I will say is that when it comes to class rings be original and make sure that it always represents you because nobody is going to be wearing this class ring but you. Yet, um, you may not be the one praying for it or paying for all of it. At the end of the day, you want your class ring to represent who you are and everything that you were, you know, as far as high school years. You know, you want it to well represent who you are as, part, as a person and I cannot stress that enough. You don't want to go in to this process of designing a class ring if nothing on your ring has anything to do with who with you or anything you like or anything you did while you were in high school you always 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 want to make sure that it's unique and you know um, resemblance to you um, another thing that I want to say is everything that you put on your ring like there's so many options you just if you can like you know, when you go and make your class ring, you will get a catalog style book. You'll get the um, pages that show you all the stuff you can put on your ring based on what design you go with. Like there are different design, um, design ring designs as your base, and then everything you get put on it, like your date, your name, the honor symbol I have, or the music thing I have. Those are all options that will go on there based on whatever model you get of your ring. And then you also make sure you want to pick out the right stone. Um, you can totally do your school color as your diamond color. I did my birthstone because, you know, my birthstone is very symbolic to me, obviously. You know, you just really want to do things that are going to be very symbolizing to you. Um, you know, don't get things that your friends are maybe getting or if you have like a high school sweetheart or something. You know, don't get the same thing if you guys truly aren't like symbolic or 
of relevance to it. Like you might have those friends in high school that you've been friends with since like elementary, middle school or whatever and you guys, you know, that's good. But, you know, if there's nothing that, you know, is worth putting on your ring between you and that friend or you and your girlfriend or boyfriend, then do not do it. Because, it, you know, if things go wrong down the line and I'm not jinxing anyone, you don't want to have those bad memories on that class ring because then that's what you're going to think about when you see it. Okay, another thing that I want to stress real quickly, because I don't want to make this long, is I do want to say that when you do put those items on into your ring design that are symbolic and represent you, make sure they're things that you are truly passionate about and you've like been consistent with. Like if sports, for example. You know, if you did like football, anything from football to soccer, volleyball, baseball to tennis to cheerleading, dance, swim, whatever it is you did through high school, if you know you only did it for a few months or if you only did it for a year and you just weren't consistent, then, you know, personally I would say just do not put that on your ring because, you know, it, it's not something you stuck with. It's not something you were truly compassionate about. You want to put things on your ring that are truly passions, things that you accomplished, like goals, any, any clubs or activities or any academic-wise things. You know, those are great things to put on your ring. Okay, so real quickly before I go, I also just want to say, um, above all, don't be afraid to express who you were in high school on your ring and even overall in life. You know, sometimes we're afraid to show how we really are as a person or passion, th things we're passionate about or any hobbies or, you know, skills that we have. Don't be afraid to be who you are because at the end of the day, as I said in the, earlier in the video, this is your ring and this is what you are going to wear and what you will cherish and always have to remind you of your days in high school. So you want it to be something that you can be proud of and be proud to wear it you know, and be proud to stand out. I mean, yeah, mine was mainly focused on my strengths because academic-wise, that's what I'm very strong in in high school and that's what I've always been strong with in school. And then my strong passion, um, you know, music. Music has always been a very strong talent and passion for me since I was younger. So that's why my ring is the way that I made it, you know. You want to put, I can't, I just can't say it enough. You just want to be proud of what you did. Be proud of your ring. Be proud of the way that you make it and what you put into it. Because you, it, it only, it, it shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks but you. Okay, guys. So that pretty much conducts my video. Um, I hope that I was as helpful as I can be. I just was trying to be as brief and just give you a lot of encouragement and advice as far as when you're getting your class ring. Um, you know, I don't work for the companies that produce class rings so you know if you have any other questions or anything else you'd like to know about as far as your class ring um, please um, send me a message on here you can um, tweet me on Twitter or you can let me know in the comments below but um, thank you guys for allowing me to make this video for you all today I know I've been kind of away for a few weeks but as I mentioned in my last upload which was another makeup tutorial I did I mean a haul so if you've not seen the haul, check it out. Um, I did mention that school has really kept me going. Um, I'm now halfway through my first quarter, and um, I'm just working hard, and hard work pays off in the end, as always. So um, I'm going to be working on, now I'm going to be working on filming for you guys, my fall series videos um, that I'll be doing for the first time um, on my channel. I want to like, try to do a like fall room type of thing, like where I talk about what's nice to keep in your room for the fall season, decorations and things like that. So I'm going to be working on that. Um, I'm going to be working on doing a fall makeup tutorial for you all. And then I plan on also filming a um, homecoming getting ready video because I am going to homecoming for the first time. And I'm talking about the homecoming dance. Um, our For my school, our homecoming dance and everything is next Saturday, and then our parade is next Thursday, and our football game is next Friday, and then we do little theme days all throughout the week next week, so I'm going to be pretty busy with that, but I do want to make a getting ready homecoming video and outfit idea video for you all for that, so I look forward to it, and I hope you all do too. 
But that concludes this video. Um, if you all want more videos like this, please thumbs it up or let me know in the comment section. And I will see you guys soon for my fall series. So stay tuned.